What? You want to play a game? After the second movie, your series was very overrated. Yeah, I'm just kidding. It's just me. But seriously, do you want to play a game with me today? I told you never to call me again. What about that do you not get? The, the never call or the again? Never call? Again. What part are we misunderstanding but each other? Come on, we're like best friends. No, we are no longer friends. Dash, listen to me. Me and you are no longer friends. Well, I figured since Satiric pretty much cancels Satiric Reads since nobody watches them. Well, me and you could make, like, our own show, you know, and play video games and have fun and maybe you'd be my friend again. Okay. What game are we playing? Okay, awesome. Uh, it's a good game. Don't worry about it. It's you, you're gonna love it. I swear. Um, uh, I'll beat you at your place because uh, my TV might be broken. Uh, I I was landing and I I went headfirst into it. You know. So you are just reaching out to me because your TV set is broken. So Love you too, buddy. I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, bye. I thought you said we were going to play a good game. This is a good game. No, this is a mediocre game made by a good game company. Listen, I think Destiny gets a lot more flack than it really deserves. I mean, it's, it's well made. The gun mechanics are actually pretty good. The storyline is non-existent, but if that's what you're playing a Bungie game for, I mean, that stopped being relevant around Halo 2. Regardless, when you say a good game, I assume you meant something like Final Fantasy IX, uh, the original Gears of War, not the later ones which are really bad, Halo 2, which is also by Bungie and is much better than this game, uh, Borderlands 2, which has the same, like, RPG-ish settings, but actually did it well, and a couple of years ago, oh, we could have played Borderlands the pre-sequel. That's supposed to be kind of good. I mean, I haven't heard anything about it, but that's not bad. Well, if you don't want to play with me, you can just leave. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you like me enough to stay, even if we're playing a bad game. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> that's adorable. Pinky does not like you. She's simply committed already and doesn't feel like changing her mind. Well, Pinky is very tricky that way. Here's the first decision of the game. So, should we play as a warlock, a titan, or a hunter? I've already played the whole game as a warlock, so I don't really care to see that again. Uh, pick hunter. P Hunter's good. What is the benefit of being a hunter? Uh, hunters are good at stabbing people. Mom? Pinky is the hunter. Hey, pass over the controller. I want to do something. Who said Pinky could play today? Come on, it'll be really cool, I promise. Fine. But if I hate it, I will kill you. Okay, cool. This is gonna be so sweet. You're gonna be so excited. Who are these Ewoken you have me playing as? They're like if the elves were mindless self-indulgence groupies. Oh, they're like their coffee black, just like their metal. Oh, I can get behind this race. Their whole history is they basically got trapped in, like, the Twilight Realm from Twilight Princess. And then they just all started dressing like they were going to a concert next week. And all their skin changed to weird colors. Because magic, I guess, you know, that explains most things. Magic would have a very interesting effect on the evolutionary process. The fire-spitting lizard and the teleporting dog are probably going to win the fight for survival. So it becomes the race for who can get the most powerful arms. Look, it totally looks like you. That looks nothing like me. <laughs> oh, you insult, Pinky. With your your character generation. Well, it does have the same haircut as you. I mean, come on. Pinky's hair is much more 
classically elegant. If I saw you both walking down the street, I would probably get confused. One of us is a talking horse. Still though, ah, you cannot blame me for your inadequacies. Are we there yet? Dash, shut up. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? N now? No, stop asking. Okay. Um. You wanna play checkers? No, I do not want to play checkers. Just shut up and sit back down in your seat. Mm. Whoa, what was that? That is the heat plating coming off as we land. Oh, is that bad? Are we gonna die? No, we are landing. Whoa! One st small step for pony kind, one big step for nerddom. Would you move your big butt off the ladder? I got dirt on my shoes, damn it. Have you noticed that, like, the text screen is Chinese? I don't care. Why'd you bring a gun on a, a three-man mission? We know there's nothing here. Because it could be dangerous. You just bribed to look cool, didn't you? <laughs> Shut up, okay? I'm leader of the mission, I bring the rifle. Yeah, whatever. God, we've been walking forever. Can we take a nap? No. Keep walking. According to like, the screen, we've been walking for three days. Whoa, that was fell. Cool. Man, that would have been embarrassing. Fall in a ravine. Put that on the scratch reel, you know? Shut up and keep walking up the hill. Dash, look at this. What? Whoa, weird. Giant ball in the sky. Do you think that's a moon? No, it's not a moon. Would you say that there's, there's no moon that's that close? That that's no moon? <laughs> Star Wars reference. Oh. Boom. Shut up. Okay. So, like, a long time ago, we found this giant ball in the sky over Mars, and we called it the Traveler because he's one of those dudes that doesn't really ever, like, settle in one place. He just goes around, does some part-time work while he goes, and then moves on to the next place. But we're like, hey, bro, I mean, you want to stick around here for a while? I mean, we're pretty cool cats. And he's like, yeah, I guess that would be all right. But then it turns out he's being followed by, like, the IRS. And they come in and, like, start abducting people from the neighborhood. And we're like, whoa. So we claim that he's, like, our cousin so that he can get, like, a green card for a little while. So we're technically a sponsor now. But the IRS doesn't really care. Like, they're still f watching him. And they kind of abducted everybody else in the neighborhood. So we're the only party in town. So it's just us and the Traveler just hanging out trying to get the IRS off our back, you know, right? Like, Viva La Revolution. That's pretty much the whole story. Why would they take so much time to remind us of Fallout 3? Far superior game. Shh, you can be nitpicky after the cutscene. It just seems counterintuitive to me. Man, why do I always get stuck with the grunt work? Now, look at the pretty birdie. No, man, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Hello, birdie. Oh, oh, oh why, why, birdie, run away? Birdie, no like me. I kill birdie. Man, Twilight was right. Finding the elements of harmony is hard. Oh, cool. What's this? Ah, damn it, it's just Pinky. 
Pinky, come on, get up. Pinky, you can't sleep in public places, they'll arrest you. I should know, I got arrested in New York once. Oh, good, <laughs> you're up. So, listen, you've been dead for like a thousand years, uh... The Traveler came, uh, I revived you with dark mystical powers that are somehow connected to the light, and somehow your clothes are on you, and don't worry about that. Pretty birdie! Okay, shit, we gotta go. No time to explain, uh, uh, that's one of my fanboys. Uh, where should we go, where should we go? Oh shit, I did not have a plan for this. Uh, don't worry, I'm inside of you, it'll be good, I, I swear. Nothing bad's gonna happen, just run. Very fast. What was the purpose of that cutscene? It told me literally nothing what's about what's going on. I mean, who are the Fallen? Uh, who am I? Why am I alive? What are you? I mean, you called yourself a ghost? But that doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, I'm completely in the dark and now we're just running through Fallout 3. <laughs> Welcome to the sweet, sweet torture of empirical affliction. Uh, so... As to what I am, I'm a ghost, which are like Sentinels from Halo 2, I think that's when Sentinels came into the series. Anyways, they were made by the Traveler, which is the big ball we saw in the sky, to find Guardians, which are people that have inherent light in them. Because I guess, like, if you fa swallow a flashlight, it gives you superpowers. Yes, but what is your purpose in the game? Oh, I'm totally Jack from Gears of War. So, you are just a skeleton key and a flashlight. I find that sidekick characters in gamings pretty much all tend to get stuck as glorified door openers. Thanks to you, Pinky has lost the element of surprise. It was dark, I got scared. Oh hey, you should grab that rifle over there, it's gonna be important. How could... A rifle that has been laying in a dilapidated building for a thousand years, possibly still be functioning. That's German engineering for you. <laughs> Pinkie Pie will sneak like the Assassin's Creed and lure their detection so that she can sneak up behind them and kill them. Uh, it's not gonna work, Pinky. This game doesn't have a very good sneak function. Watch the master at work, naysayer. No! How could you possibly notice, Pinky? You were in another room! I told you, the fights in this game are mostly scripted, so sneaking really doesn't do much. Then why give it to Pinky as an option? Well, you can, like, get behind people and do a sneak attack, but that's not really sneaking, it's more just confusing their follow function in the AI. Uh, so... Sneaking isn't a real thing? I guess unless you're playing multiplayer. All of their weaponry is just a needler from Halo. Does Punji not have any new ideas? I mean, come on. Can you imagine how expensive it must be to make all their ammunition this way? I mean, it's they're heat-seeking and they have some ability to distinguish friend from foe. That's like smart bullets in every round. And that's for handheld weaponry for all of your troops. I mean, the production costs alone must be insane. Pinky is starting to get the feeling that we are losing this war. Oh yeah, it's pretty much already a war of attrition. But since we can revive all our dead troops, we're still hanging in there even though we only control one city on the entire planet. Okay, shut up. Now it's time to kill people with the sniper rifle. <laughs> Prepare to die. Pinky, I think if you kill any more people, our insurance premiums will go up. Oh, you think you can evade Pinky, but Pinky has many tricks in her hooves. Oh, Pinky will make you pay for that. Pinky, are you listening? Be very, very quiet. Pinky is hunting rabbits. Wow, you're a lot better at this than I thought you'd be. What do you mean? Well, I always kind of had you pegged as more of like a Square Enix junkie or Earthbound or stuff like that. Well, yes, I mean, that is more my cup of tea, I suppose. 
but uh, I still play the Halos, the the Gears of Wars. I'll, I'll actually have you know I've played all of the recent Call of Duties. No matter how terrible each and every single one of them was. Oh, cool. What were you ranked? I think you only played single player. Well, where's the fun in that? I put the question to you. When you are purchasing Call of Duty Modern Warfare Advanced, whatever the next one is, uh, what are you purchasing it for? The campaign or the multiplayer? Uh, well, I guess I'm mostly buying it for the multiplayer. Okay. So you are buying it for the interactions between you and other people, not the interactions set up by the game creators. So you're basically buying a game based on the hope that your interactions with other people, which the game creators had no control over, is fun. I guess, but that seems like a very black and white way of thinking of things. And plus, there's whole games which are just based off of how you interact with other people. I mean, that's like what massively multiplayer is about, pretty much. No, massively multiplayer games are about experiencing a story with other players. Well, you are not gonna like this story at all, then. <laughs> Why? Well, since there's like little to no story, uh, most of the time you'll just be teaming up with other players to kill the same thing over and over again, or, or fighting them in multiplayer, which is a, a, really a lot of fun. You have deceived, Pinky. You told Pinky she was uh, playing Halo Bungie guest game. Instead, she is playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But with lasers and the covenant. You really ought to move your butt. I mean, those those ships draw off a lot of dudes. Pinky will run when Pinky is done punishing you for lying to Pinky. Pinky is the innocent, thinking she's just going to play a game with friends. But then it turns into a travesty. A lies and deception. And this uh, is what Pinky? I get for thinking that maybe you were actually trying to do something uh, nice for uh, once. But no, you can never be uh, nice to Pinky. Well, now, now you're dead. Let Pinky's martyrdom stand as a testament to your deception. Y you want to switch off, or...? No. Sit there and think about what you did. Okay. That chair's sticky, though. Can I get up? I want some fresh air. I get uncomfortable when I sit for long periods of time, you know? All you've been doing for the last 15 minutes is sitting there and talking. What's the difference between now and the last 15 minutes, except that I told you to sit there? You're really having a weird rebellious streak against nothing really important at all, aren't you? I've got disco fever, Pinky. <laughs> I actually got that reference. It's very good. I can't help but feel like all these mindless drones actually have families that they aren't going home to now. You know, like little kids and stuff. And It, it just makes me sad. Yeah. I thought these were like Hellspawn or something. Why would they have children? Aren't they like made in clone bats? Everybody looks like a Larry to me. You know? Yeah, it's it's like racist to say that like a lot of people look the same, but these people literally look all the same. There's only two types and uh, they'd have no differentiating features. <gasps> you are just a racist. Oh, I'm gonna tell everybody that you're being racist against aliens. Hey, everybody, Pinky's being racist against aliens. Ah, uh, shun her. Oh, whatever. If anything, I'm being speciesist. Pinky, this is an intervention. You gotta stop hating on the Larrys. What'd they ever do to you? They shot at me with the heat sinking bullets! Did you ever think that maybe you shot first with words? Hey, look, the Nebuchadnezzar. This plot show sure relies heavily on ancient technology working after a thousand years of neglect. I once left my iPod in the car, like, for a couple hours, and the screen died afterwards. I can't imagine what the screens in there must be like. Oh, and it's probably full of giant bugs and stuff, and there's some sort of evolution species in there of mice that can use the electricity of the ship to kill people. Because magic. Plus two points for callback joke, but minus two points for Pokemon reference. Oh, come on, those aren't the rules. We never said rules. Now watch as I murder later these Larrys. Whoa, why did we cut that? So we don't bore the audience with menus. 
But what if they want to know about like the skill trees and stuff and how to set up their characters? Well then I guess they'll just have to buy the game. Hmm? We are really stretching not to get tagged by content ID, aren't we? I heard Satiric was so scared the last time he got tagged by content ID that he almost shut down the entire channel. Like, permanently. Well, I guess it is pretty scary. I mean, they kind of do treat you like some sort of criminal. It's not ISIS you need to worry about, kids. It's YouTubers. Oh, they're coming in your houses to steal your video game content. <laughs> ooh, ooh, a cutscene's coming up. You ready? If Pinky must. What a piece of junk. She'll make 0.5 past light speed. <laughs> she may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. Yeah, fast ship? Fast ship. You never heard of the Nebuchadnezzar, kid? Should I have? It's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. I run Imperial cruisers. I'm not talking about the local bulk ships. I'm talking about Cerulean starships. She's fast enough for you, kid. Okay, how much? 10,000 Imperial credits. 10,000 Imperial credits? With that kind of money, I could buy my own ship. Yeah, but who would fly it, kid? You? It looks like someone's beginning to take an interest in your handiwork. I find you, pretty baby! A bunch of joy. Well, that was a lot of fun. Yes. Well, despite my complaining, I guess Destiny is not the worst thing to happen to gaming so far. Thanks for playing with me today, Pinkie Pie. Can, can, does this mean we're friends again? Yes, Dash. We're friends. Well, I guess we'll just pack away this game since we're not gonna play it anymore. You're trying to make Pinky do the oh I guess we can play a little bit longer thing and Pinky's not going to do it. Please? Oh, alright. We can play a little bit Yay longer. everybody we're gonna have another episode. Oh. See you next time everybody. Thank you.